Creating, updating, and backing up your LearnDash courses has never been this easy. With the LearnDash course import-export add-on, you can instantly export courses, lessons, and topics into a .xls or .xlsx file, or add new courses and course content using a simple spreadsheet template. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the configuration and function of the add-on. Let's get started by installing and activating the LearnDash course import-export add-on. Great! Now you can find the course import and export heading under the LearnDash drop-down menu. This heading will take you to the add-on import course page. But before we do this, let's take a look at how we can export courses from the course page, which is available on the LearnDash menu. Here you will find options to export each of your courses, either in .xls or .xlsx format. Once downloaded, you can easily import them into another site using this add-on. We will get to that in a moment. You also have the ability to export multiple courses at one time by simply selecting the courses and then exporting them from the drop-down bulk option. Now let's take a look at how to import courses. Go to the LearnDash drop-down menu and click on the course Import Export heading. Then go to the Import Course tab. Now, search for the course you would like to import. Here, you can only import .xls or .xlsx files. Once you have selected the file, click Next. This will start importing the course, and on a successful process, it will show Imported Successfully. When it comes to the template, Standard Template File is available in the Import Course tab. You can fill this template to create quick and easy courses to import into your LMS. The default course template looks like this, and it has three sheets. Courses, Lessons, and Topics. Course Sheet has multiple columns. In the first column, you can add the type. For example, Course. In the second column, you can add the title of the course. In the third column, you can add the course content. Course Type. Here you can add the course type, like Open, Free, Pay Now, Recurring, and Closed. Material. Used to add the materials of the course. Course Access Settings. Here you can set the course settings, like course price type, course prerequisite, course points, etc. In the second to last column, you can add the course display settings. And similarly, in the last column, you can add the course navigation settings. Let's move to the lesson sheet. In its first column, you can add the type, for example, lesson. Title. This is the second column, and here you can add the title of the lesson. In the third column, you can add the lesson content. Material. Here you can add the lesson material. Course. In this column, you can add the course title, in which this lesson will be included. In the second to last column, you can add the lesson access settings. And in the last column, you can add the lesson display settings. Now let's move to the topic sheet. In its first column, you can add the type. For example, topic. Title. This is the second column, and here you can add the title of the topic. In the third column, you can add the topic content. Material. Here you can add the lesson material. Course. In this column, you can add the course title, in which this topic will be included. Lesson. Similarly, here you can add the lesson title, in which this topic will be included. In the second to last column, you can add the topic access settings. And in the last column, you can add the topic display settings. For further information about working with this template or anything we've been through in this tutorial, 
you can refer back to the plugin's documentation available on the WooNinja's website. As you can see, by integrating the LearnDash course import-export add-on into your e-learning site, you will save valuable time and effort with your daily course management. Thanks for watching.